Sri Lanka, Koil decided to hit the beaches and Nirat the hills. But before they went their separate ways, they decided to get acclimatized in Colombo. Now, I think spending time in the capital city is such a waste because that country has so much more to offer. But from what they tell me, I'm wrong. Hey. We shall be flying at 25,000 feet. We wish you a pleasant flight with us. Thank you. It's a three-hour flight from Delhi, but you can fly into Colombo from a number of Indian cities. Yes, you need a visa and you need to be prepared for some security restrictions. You'll find that that's a small price to pay for Sri Lanka's landscapes, beaches, monuments and culture. What we're doing is retracing Lord Ram's footsteps on a journey he said to have made to Lanka thousands of years ago. The only difference is that he took the land and sea route. We are flying, and our motives are not as lofty as his were. Yeah, I definitely second that. From an 8th century port, Colombo has developed into Sri Lanka's political, economic and cultural capital. Here colonial structures alternate with brand new high-rise buildings. With a population of a little over a million, it's small by Indian standards and that's nice. Colombo is supposed to be the meeting place of the old and the new. This is where the Dutch, the English, the Portuguese have all left their mark. And you can still see some of the Sinhalese tradition all over the place. Like where? You won't believe what Coel and I decided to do first. We decided to go shopping. See you in 20 minutes. 20 minutes. If you're the sort who gets turned on by shopping possibilities, Colombo is just the place for you. You'll enjoy getting lost in its humongous shopping malls. Majestic City is a favorite with tourists. Are you Bhavan? Can I have a single room, please? Would you like to have an AC or non AC? Non AC would be fine. Thank you, this card for me. Thank you. If you don't have an advanced booking, don't fret. There are plenty of places you could stay at in Colombo. From a dorm bed for about 100 Sri Lankan rupees to a cheap guest house to a middle range hotel like this one, which will probably cost you about 1000 rupees a night. But if you like luxury and can afford to pay a couple of hundred dollars, and check out where Nirat is staying. This has got to be the most energetic welcome I've ever received. Drums and a conch shell with some aggressive dancing thrown in. It's been years since I visited a sauna. In Sri Lanka, the relative strength of the Indian rupee allows you to enjoy five-star facilities at a discount. You like that. Time to check out the sites. Yeah. 
ala violin benjo raba mat kai Much of Colombo's nightlife tends to focus on the top hotels. The leading nightclubs have a cover charge. You're expected to be well attired. Things hot up after 10 p.m. and stay that way till 6 if you have the stamina. The reason there are no beauties lying next to me is because the season has just ended on the west coast. This is the time the sea is at its treacherous best. You know, undercurrents and rip tides and things like that. The west coast is at its best between November and April. By Sri Lankan standards, Negombo's beach isn't too hot. But the town is historically interesting. and only an hour away from colombo it has a goa like easy going feel that's quite endearing the dutch portuguese and english all held negombo at various stages during the dutch era this was an important center for cinnamon export the inhabitants of negombo are known as karavas and are of indian origin so effectively have they been converted to catholicism that negombo is sometimes referred to as little rome Nowhere else in Sri Lanka did the Dutch reveal their love for canals as they did here in Negombo. Canals extend all the way to Colombo in the south and cover over 100 kilometers. While I'm canal hopping in Negombo, cricket crazed Coel is cricketer hopping in Colombo. The Asia Cup is on, you see. Yeah, it's, it's a very beautiful country. I mean, I must say it's, uh, it's very clean and uh, beautiful beaches. and uh, hopefully this time we we'll get to see a lot more of it than we did last time really you get beautiful crockery here i'm <laughs> sure what do you want to do with crockery yeah my parents want it so <laughs> <laughs> this is a handshake i'm going to remember <laughs> yes we have young team no doubt about it and the youngest member is there <laughs> that's right <laughs> the mascot for the team hasan kitna aa gaya beta बेबी मयूर भाई चाहिए बहन चाहिए आपको भाई चाहिए बहन चाहिए कुत्ता चाहिए गुड लक इंडिया गुड लक इंडिया वेरी गुड आई एम प्राउड ऑफ दिस इज अ रंबटम रंबटम इज अ मले वर्ड स्पाइकी इट्स अबाउट टू टेस्ट जस्ट लाइक लीची लेट्स सी Tastes just like a leaf. All me. This is a mango steam, reputed to be one of the finest tropical fruits. So fine that Queen Victoria offered a big prize to someone who could bring back one intact for her to taste. Let's see how it goes. Open it. Wow. Sweetly delicious. Follow me. This is great. A complete layout of Sri Lankan delicacies. These are hoppers or appams in Singhala. Pearl sambar, which is coconut shavings. Katta sambar, which makes everything spicy and hot. pitu which is rice the thing about sri lankan cooking is that everything is cooked in coconut oil so if you don't like the taste or the smell you're in trouble i think i'll try something it's a pity that we waited till the end of our trip to get our first taste of authentic sri lankan food don't make the same mistake koel had another grouse though colombo had had so much to offer she couldn't believe she was flying back 
without meeting Jai Surya.